tomorrow morning we'll set the table for another beautiful warm day. Look at these temperatures at 8 o'clock in the morning. Sunny day. Cool down, that's what I think. I'm here at Madeira headquarters in Freiburg, Germany. We're standing in our new R&D department for embroidery and today I'd like to show you how to use frosted mat. This is our eye test for frosted mat. Here you can see a normal shiny thread with a small logo with letters and as we swing over to the frosted mat you can see that the logo becomes very clear and this is what is great about frosted mat it's a very clean thread, it's not a sewing thread, it's a true embroidery thread and with true color. Now I'd like to show you how to test this, the tension for the upper thread of, with frosted mat. We have a tension gauge here, I put the thread in and then I start to pull. We want to be up around 110, 120. Okay, now I'd like to show you how to use frosted mat on the embroidery machine. Here you can see I have the design partway embroidered and it will be running at a very high speed and it's really getting into the areas of small details and this is what frosted mat is for. Small, tiny details that need very good clarity. Here is the finished product of the final embroidery and now you can see with frosted mat you can not only just do small lettering and details, you can also fill with the thread. So using one product you can get clear clean lines and a beautiful design. Now that I've shown you how to use frosted mat, I'd like to discuss how you punch for frosted mat. You need at least 5 to 10 percent more stitch density because of its special construction. We have 189 colors available, plus Madeira is your one-stop shop for all your embroidery needs. For samples, just contact the Madeira teams around the world. Thank you.